Thank you very much, Ms. Pankaja. Thank Let's go much. to Ditya's mom. Ma'am, can we have your introduction? Uh, we have to unmute yeah, her. Ditya's yeah. mother. Yeah. Uh, my name is uh, Chaya Shetty. Um, I'm a housewife. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, let's go to um, uh, he, uh, Hiba's mom. Hello, ma'am. Good, good evening. Good evening, uh, ma'am. Can we get your name, please? Uh, Sheikh Rubina, ma'am. Okay. Thank you very I'm much. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ms. Rubina. Okay. We go to next. Uh, we go to uh, Shania's mom. Is Mama there, Shania? No, teacher. Okay. Okay. Let's go to. Uh, Vihan's mom? Vihan? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm here. Hi, ma'am. Good evening. Hi, ma'am. Good evening. Hi, ma'am. Yeah, I'm Nishu Chai. And uh, by profession, I'm company secretary, but presently, I'm uh, I'm at home only looking after him. Okay. So, okay. We are from Mumbai. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much. And uh, we uh, will go to Tanaya, who has her sister beside her. So can we hear from Tana Tanisha? Yeah. I'm Tanisha and I'm studying in Gundecha Education Academy, 6th standard and I'm 12 years old. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, Shania, is someone there or sh should we proceed? Can I be? Did you know one? Okay, no problem. And also, you're, you're going to be... Uh, playing the role of your mom and <laughs> you today, right? And same with Alicia. Alicia? One minute. I'll... Yeah. Alicia? Yeah, so, mom. Yeah. So your mom is in the ear today. No worries. So we will we will take extra care of you. Right? Okay. <laughs> right. So uh, parents, firstly, thank you very much for joining. Uh, we uh, Today amidst us, we have a very, very important person, uh, the handwriting coach. Uh, she's a, a Miss Karishma Dani. Karishma Dani is a seasoned handwriting specialist, signature analyst, and a graphologist. She's a commerce graduate, and she has a deep passion to assist children in improving their written scriptures. Uh, she has hands-on techniques to teach children how to, you know, get, get their handwriting skills in place. She has curated her own book in handwriting, which helps kids in improving their posture, grip, letter, word spacing, etc., which makes the handwriting a very, very systematic process. So thank you very much, Ms. Karishma, for uh, conducting this two-day workshop with for our lovely children who uh, are who were really, really excited yesterday. And today they are looking, we are looking forward to hearing uh, more. Yeah. From you, right? Over to you. Can we get a few words? Yeah. From you? Thank you, Tarunum. Uh, thank you, parents, for joining in. And I must say the children are very lovely and they're so curious and they're so, so into the session all the time. So where we went, that uh, where we had the time yesterday gone, we never knew only. So they are very good and they were very anxious to learn and that inspired me so much to give more and more. So uh, very, uh, that was really a very good part and they have such a, such a respect and love for the teacher, which was very overwhelming. So yesterday we had a few uh, writing skills to done with the children and I had taught them some basic things what we generally look in improving the handwriting. Since it's only a two day workshop, uh, I thought to just improvise on the basic things first. So that really showed so well in the handwriting. So ma'am had sent me some samples two days before of the dictation and a sample also yesterday after my session so there's a tremendous difference in only 40 to 45 minute session so that i will be displaying on the screen so i have made a personal uh, analysis for each student so what am i uh, what have i learned from the handwriting and what they have to improve on will be shown on the screen one by one and also the before after what i have seen okay that was such a great uh, astonishment to me to see the difference in just 40 to 45 minutes i had sent the work to uh, like you know it was so so good so I really look forward if I can help these children more and more let's begin ma'am can I start yes ma'am we, we yeah. yeah. so let's start with the first student uh, I'll be showing on the screen so can you see the screen children yes yes we can yeah yeah okay let's begin Uh, 
Ma'am, you, you need to change the screen. Oh, change. Yes. Is it is it okay now? Yeah, it's yeah. It says students' evaluation. We need yeah, to, yeah. to see the evaluation now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the first when I'm uh, taking is pranaya. Um, ma'am, unfortunately, so this pranaya, so pranaya hasn't joined. So can we go to the next student? I'll oh. just check where is she. Oh, yeah. sure, 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 sure. All right. This is Alicia now. The second one. So this is the handwriting what I had got before two, three days. And now is the handwriting what she did yesterday. Okay. So the major thing what I have seen is that she has ch changed the script from uh, cursive to print. Okay. Now the analysis, let us uh, study one by one. So uh, she has in this also, if you can see, she has done mixed handwriting that is... Uh, one second. Huh? So print and cursive. If you can see on the first screen that is before, she has written print and cursive both. So I will advise to focus on any one part that is uh, screen, uh, print or cursive. If you can see, see this G here is also cursive, but see a P, it is print. So basically this is a problem with all the students. 99% students follow this pattern of print and cursive. So the first point what I see so that she has to focus only on one type of handwriting. The second was spacing between the alphabets. If you can see here, there is hardly any space in between the alphabets. It can't, it can't be seen clearly. But after the session yesterday, she was very clear in leaving a space between the alphabets. So that was good thing. And again, she has a very mixed type of handwriting. Like, you know, she touches uh, the uh, double alphabet somewhere. She overlaps the alphabets. So the analysis was that she has basically a mixed type of handwriting, which needs to be solved and only one type of handwriting to be followed. So this was my analysis. And she has basically changed the handwriting only in the first session. So uh, that was also good. She can write both the types of handwriting. But according to me, she should follow cursive because major alphabet, she is writing cursive. So this was for Alicia. Uh, next student uh, will take is uh, this. The last point is that a little uh, pressure was little more. As we can see, you know, some parts are very dark here. Some parts are very dark here. So this shows that there is a lot of pressure applied. So I had taught the children yesterday that how to check whether the pressure is correct. After writing on the paper, just check the back side of the paper. If you can see marks coming on the paper, that means your pressure is more. So this can be easily rectified. So not to worry. These are the four points what I had seen. Let's go to Heba now. So this was the handwriting she had sent me, ma'am had sent me before, and this is yesterday's handwriting. This was really a very good thing to see, like, you know, such a major difference in the handwriting just in first, only in one session. Let's go to the analysis. So if I compare, she needs to work between the alphabets, the space left between the alphabets. If you can see here, there is a lot of space, especially the first two alphabets everywhere needs to be a little more connected. The second one, what I saw is she needs to complete the alphabet. Like see this M, it is not complete. The M is, is ha it has to be full three lines down. So the alphabets are not complete. If you can see this P, this P is not complete. So leaving the alphabets in between, that is also because of the hurry. That can also be a reason. So when they tend to write it faster, they think that they have written, but the alphabets are not really completed. So that is the thing what I saw she needs to concentrate on. The third thing is she needs to write little big, not more, but little big so that, you know, each and every alphabet is separated and it can be seen. If you can see here, some alphabets are gone a little smaller. Then here again, the O is, o is touching both the lines completely, but not all the alphabets. So the fourth point, what I saw, what the alphabet needs to touch the lines properly as she has done here. This is really a very good work. So here, if you can see the baseline is missing, here also the baseline is missing. Here the baseline is missing. So basically this was the thing I saw in Heba, but a tremendous difference. 
Next is DTR. So this is the handwriting I got two days before, and now this is yesterday's. This is marvelous. She she was like super. I can say, uh, a, a, you know, a bang on child yesterday. She did the work very nicely. She followed all the instructions super. But still, we will see the analysis because this was just a glance. So here she needs to work on the spacing. So if you can see, see here, there is hardly any space. There is hardly any space left between the words, and also the alphabets because it it overlaps. Somewhere you can't even read what they have, what she has written. So she has to learn about spacing the words and the alphabets. Again, she has a mixed handwriting. If you can see, the word pig, the G is almost cursive, and rest of the alphabets are are print. So again, she has a. mix handwriting and need to follow any one type so this is a basic point that any child needs to follow only one type of handwriting either print or cursive not to mix both so for he deti i can say that the alphabets need to touch the lines also properly somewhere she has missed because of the small handwriting she has missed little bit somewhere here also yesterday also she did very fab but in that hurry might maybe she has left little more uh, space so and little big if she can write that will be good that each and every thing can be seen clearly that's the thing i saw in deti but she was really good let's go to the next this is tanaya now okay so we can see the pictures of before and after that says a lot actually so let's see the analysis okay so here also she needs to uh, work between the space as you can see this is all clumsy so need to leave the space between the words as well as between the alphabet some things are really not clearly visible as this so need to do that and the pressure applied is too much so she needs to really lower little pressure so that you know somewhere it is dark somewhere it is very light so see this is dark again so if the pressure is even it will look really more beautiful and again to complete the alphabets like this w is not complete it is left half the way the the y is not complete the t is not complete so completing the alphabet so that that shows that the learning of alphabets has to be done properly so that they finish the alphabet because sometimes children don't even know that the alphabet is half so that is the reason they can't complete it so this is the thing i uh, saw in tanaya i'll be sending across this pictures to ma'am so each and every parent can have it for a visualization later also now ma bihan yeah ma'am i already took a picture for my mom oh great great that's great okay this is bihan and this is what he did yesterday so what i saw was the pressure was too much for sure so let's see again he has a mixed handwriting if we can see it is mixed handwriting o and t is cursive rest of the alphabet feels little printy this is print this is cursive so again this is print and cursive mix needs to work on the space we can hardly make what what little need to really give had talk yesterday to leave one finger space between two words and a little space between the alphabets when they are writing a word so this is the thing to be seen and also complete the alphabets which is very common point with all the children like this i is not print not nor cursive so it is halfway left again this w is not cursive not print so there is no uh, not in that again this is a mixture of print and cursive so this things to be need to be taken care of he tried his best yet yes which i am very happy so let's go to the next okay now it's jash i think he's the youngest in the batch if i'm not wrong okay so this is really to be seen like uh, so much efforts and see the before after pictures are mind blowing lot of work on 
uh, his work. So the analysis was that definitely Jash has a mixed handwriting of uh, print and cursive as, as it's very common. We can see here, if we see this, D is print and the rest of the alphabets are cursive. Then again, uh, if, we, if we can see this, even the I is print. So that that is there. Needs to work on spacing between the alphabets. Somewhere he has elongated like this word and somewhere he is really made up jumbled like this to learn the spacing between the alphabets as well as the words which we can see in his work in this picture so this is the thing but i am very happy with what he has done just listening to being the youngest in the batch i was very happy to see his work yesterday he has really followed all the guidelines what i taught yesterday that was good now it uh, okay so shanaya is not there ma'am so that i can send you later on no shanaya is yeah shanaya is here with his uh, with her mom okay, I, yeah. so can we start yeah. with shanaya yeah. now shanaya and then pranaya also pranaya is also joined now okay thank you uh, okay, so this is the before after picture. I think she could hardly catch up yesterday in writing. Maybe I don't know why, uh, but that's okay. She already has a very beautiful handwriting. She just needs to concentrate on some points. Like she's very focused on what she's writing, as I can see, but just needs to follow that she has a little mixed handwriting. So I, if, we, if we can see now, this is not even uh, the S is not print, not cursive. This F is print and the rest of the spelling is cursive. So again, a mixture of print and cursive, which is a common thing everywhere I can see. So it needs to follow any one type of handwriting. It is advisable. Then complete the alphabets because somewhere, as I said, the children don't even know that the alphabets are incomplete and they think that actually no. Those, the the loops are not complete for example this p is incomplete okay so i can see that even this s is incomplete in between so that is the basic thing this i is again print here so but she followed the instruction of spacing in this picture we can see yesterday what we did she has left enough space between the words as i taught them yesterday to leave one finger space here so that she has followed only she doesn't have to touch the upper line not to touch the upper line. So that can be done. So like this garden, this is quite good, but she has really done very well. I'm very happy with what she has done. And just increase the size of the alphabets if we can, because the block you can see is so big here. And if she writes so small, it is hardly seen. The half, three fourth of the space is empty. So the rule is that if you have this much space, your alphabet should be half of the size of the given space so that we can work on it by taking some extra care. That's for Shania. And now, one second. Parents, keep your questions ready. We are uh, fine to take your questions. Yeah. Uh, so anytime, anything you want to ask for your child, please tell us. Yeah. So once Paranaya is done, we can take questions from you. Yeah, ma'am, over to you. Yeah, this is Pranaya. So this was before and after. So she had switched from red and blue line to a single line yesterday. So that's completely fine, not a problem, but I think she's really done well. So here I can see that she needs to improve the alphabet size. As you can see that she is, one second. Uh, yeah, one second. Yeah, so if you can see she has really over, size the alphabets by bringing it out of the line here if you can see even the lowercase alphabets are really out of the line so she needs to work on the size of the alphabets and also need to complete the alphabets like this is an elongated m she doesn't need to take out the loop so the, so basically uh, as i said the children need to know the perfect way of writing the alphabets then only it is said it is complete so and again touching the baseline so what is the baseline so uh, I would like to say that when we walk, we walk on the ground. So that is the base for us. Without that, we can't walk. Same way, alphabets require a baseline. So on the line which we are writing, here it is a blue line we write. Here it is the single line the, on, on what we write. So each and every alphabet should touch the baseline. They should not be in the air. So that is what is called the baseline. So each and every alphabet should touch the baseline. That is my observation um, for I'm Pranaya sorry, and also uh, for all the lot of disturbance. I'm oh. not able to hear you clearly. Is it for everyone? 
No, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. No, I can't hear you properly. Could you repeat, Miss Karishma, a little bit on what you said about the baseline? Yeah. So a baseline is like, like we walk on the ground, right? So ground is a base for us. Without the ground, we can't walk. We can't fly and we can walk. So same way, alphabets require a baseline to be. So this is the baseline for the red and blue line. And this is the baseline for the single line. So each and every alphabet should touch the baseline, however big or small it is. So that needs to be followed by all the children rather than only telling pranaya, but it's a common thing which every Everyone should know. Howsoever you write, but it should be on the baseline. So that is one thing. So as I said, the alphabets of the uppercase should not cross the line. These are too many, too many um, alphabets are crossing the baseline like this. So, uh, sorry, crossing the upper line. So it should not. So she needs to little sh uh, be a little shorter on the alphabets. As we can see, she has done a very fantabulous job yesterday. Already she has controlled so many times, like here so many alphabets, we can see that it is out of the line, but here hardly few, hardly any alphabets. So she was really very careful. So that's a real good thing I saw in Pranaya. Yeah, so this is the presentation what I have made. I hope it is uh, at least a little uh, eye opener for all the children and the parents and a little brief idea. So there's a basic points what I tell all my children. Follow any one type of handwriting that is either print or cursive, touch the alphabets to the baseline, focus on formation of the alphabet as well as the numbers which we are going to do today and improve the grip because until and unless the grip is proper, the alphabets will not show the improvement and follow the exercises what I'm going to show after this session every day. And on the top of that, after learning anything, you need require practice. So the best thing is to write seven to eight lines every day whatever you have learned. So that will be real good practice. And that is how only you will improve slowly. Nothing can be done in one day as we know that. So this was it. And thank you everyone for so much patience with me and listening. Thank you, Ms. Karishma. Parents, the floor is yours. You would like to ask any question to Ms. Karishma. She'll be here to address it right away. Yeah, I think uh, Pranaya's mom is here. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, ma'am, uh, I just want to check with you if uh, yeah. when we say that, you know, they should stick to any one form of writing, which yeah. one would you suggest as cursive or print letters? Would so when the child is writing, generally we need, we see the curves what, what the child makes. It into the curves, like how comfortable she is making the curves. As you know, cursive has many curves. Cursive is full of curves. So if the child is moving the pen or the pencil comfortably without any hindrance, then she can continue cursive. If she is facing a lot of problems, for example, if she is writing 10 alphabets and out of that she is writing six or seven alphabets cursive, that means she will follow cursive only. So you have to see the majority of the side. What is she comfortable? I have been teaching students, you know, uh, who are completely changed from print to cursive and cursive to print also, but they do beautifully because they want to do it or maybe the school pressure, but I will not do uh, that, pressure. That, that means it's okay to follow any one pattern. Yes, yes. It's unless your school demands it, because I have heard many school demand cursive, many school demand print. Unless your school is demanding, you can really follow any pattern and it is advisable to follow any one pattern. Yes. Okay. 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 Can we take more questions, parents? Anyone? Um, uh, yeah. Ms. Pankaja, you were raising your hand that time. Or uh, Mrs. Shetty. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, uh, yeah. Handwriting is like when they have the time, they will give the time to write and patience. Literally, they will write it. But uh, during in the classes and all, when they don't have time, they have to rush. Or the everything changes yeah. uh, automatically actually. So with the just there Correct. is a problem, and there is one more thing like uh, uh, the print and the, uh, the the sentence has to start with the capital letters, right? So there is a problem with them actually connecting the capital letter to the others. So Correct. That we have, yeah, 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 how to work on that, that I want to know actually. So as I said, when we learn something new, we need to really practice. So if you put that thing now, now he knows a little bit of handwriting, of course. So what happens is when you put it into practice every day, he will, okay. he will eventually become 
pro and he will continue doing that maybe the speed is not going to shoot up so much in the beginning because he has to follow yeah. a particular type of handwriting what is focusing on but that's okay give them some time they will eventually follow the pattern and then they will really speed up that is my observation that if you give them enough time and enough patience you allow them to take that extra time to write perfectly touching all the lines taking care of the curves they really speed up in the end okay uh if you don't mind uh, uh, can you give us the letters or each letter the the cursive how to write it sure sure uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah definitely yeah that will yeah. be great it's karishma i think i'll do that for print and cursive as well not a problem yeah. thank you very yeah. much yeah. Thank any thank more questions much. parents um vihan's mom heba's mom anything you want to ask we are here to help you anything in in particular because you all want to see your children writing beautifully and getting praised for it but yeah definitely there are some gaps which are, we have to address as 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 partners right so we are here to help you um shania's mom ditya's mom yes ma'am you have any questions you are happy with ditya yeah, yeah very much happy okay okay did you understand the basics of you know uh, writing where she's making those yeah. errors overall so, she, overall the handwriting looks uh, good one thing uh, one thing only i want to say ma'am yeah. it is uh, writing is totally depending upon the child how they are taking okay. print or it's a cursive like okay. you know, that's the only thing it's yeah it's okay. some students are very good in you know you know print and until you know they are growing up until last also they will write to print only and some you know some child will write in cursive only that's right correct correct that is absolutely fine if your child writes in print and yeah. right? you really don't have to switch them to any other writing style because right now what i have experienced is most of the schools are not compelling children to write in join they are fine if children are writing in print as long as it is legible okay as long as you know it's readable so definitely don't force your children to switch them to join because it looks good on the paper let them be comfortable in their natural style of writing which they have learned right from kindergarten right so there is really no parameter for a good handwriting it has to be in joints absolutely not at least in this present time no school compels the children to write in joints of course a good practice if they have learned it but if they haven't learned it let's not ask them to switch to joints so like alicia switched to print yesterday i don't know why right so <laughs> you don't have to uh, you know get into something different at this moment you whatever you have learned improvise on that strengthen that okay address the weaknesses and then that's the best way to learn okay because that way you will be able to adjust the speed of your writing also you also you can't just write in a calligraphic way you also have to consider the timing what is uh, what you get in the school so you the only thing is be comfortable in your natural side be conscious that you are making these errors frequently like ma'am mentioned some of the letters are exceeding the base the top top line which is not a good practice some letters are slanting some letters are not oriented properly so if you just children if you just be little conscious and your parents are there to uh, kind of guide you and we are there but it's just that you need to be conscious that you're making these errors yeah okay tanaya was asking something tanaya what do you want to ask yes. Ma'am, is it compulsory to leave one one finger gap? Yeah, so that is because you don't know how much gap to leave in the beginning. So that to so best way is to measure it so that there is no problem only. So initially it will till you get used to it, put a finger gap so that you don't forget. And once you are pro with that, eventually you will leave leave that much gap on your own. Then you don't need to put the finger, but it's new for you, so it's better to put a finger gap so it will be even in full paper, somewhere less and somewhere more. It should not be the case. And also, I would like to say for cursive and print handwriting is if you see all your textbooks, everything you see, everything is in print. Nothing is yeah. in cursive. True. so initial years cursive had a little fancy so that is why you know people were switching on for the cursive but if you really go to see all our textbooks all the study material is definitely in print handwriting correct even the board you know initially used to consider print handwriting the best one so really no need to really shuffle from one handwriting to the other type just continue what you are and improvise in that as ma'am said that is my suggestion also yeah absolutely All right. Any other doubts, uh, Miss uh, Rubina? Anything you want to ask, uh, Miss Karishma? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay, fine. 
Anything else from parents? Yeah, I would like to ask one small question from ma'am. Yes. yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, actually, is there any other observation apart from this that they should uh, go for a print or uh, like cursive? No, which not really. Can help them, which can help them uh, in like writing and any other way? So the things what I'm going to teach today, like I'm going to take some basic things, what you need to really put on while writing, that will also help the child to improvise on the handwriting. He's already doing it. So no need to worry on the uh, on the handwriting part as such. Okay. See, nowadays the school don't cut marks for the handwriting. That is for sure. But it only adds to the value of what you're writing. The presentation, the formation really makes it more neat and clear and gives an impression to the reader about how the child is like i'm an analyst so i know when you're writing something it creates an an picture of you in front of me so that only a reader can understand so it only adds to the value of what you're writing yeah absolutely so if you uh, eat like this or if you eat like this what is the difference it is only the pattern of doing it so this is the correct way of eating and this is not the correct way it is only that difference but how to switch from like this to that that is the, that would be some technical thing no? there's or uh, yeah. how, how you make, make them yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand what you're asking. So that needs to be corrected from the base. So this was only a workshop in which, you know, we can just highlight some points. But then if you want to do a basic uh, changeover, we need to really work on it. And I think Tarano ma'am can really guide you well with help of me. We can really work on Vihan if you really like to do that. Right, Tarano ma'am? Yes, absolutely. So just to answer your question, parents, this two day was like very thin time, very little time for us to pack in more things for children. But uh, it was my passion because I really wanted our children to write in a certain manner, which we did accomplish for certain, you know, for certain period of time. But this needs practice and one on one help support. So Miss Karishma is also she is working with our club uh, as a handwriting coach. If at all you want a, wanted a personal, um, you know, one on one with uh, Miss Karishma for about two, three weeks program, focusing only on handwriting, she's definitely available. And we can definitely try and give you the best what we can. Right, uh, Ms. Karishma? So if at all you, you want to go into the detail of it and you want uh, it to be guided with the coach, we are we the platform is open and we can definitely provide you with those opportunities. But whatever in two days we could pack, pack in, that I think we have done a pretty good job because now at least we know where our kids are. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I, 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 I just want to say one yes. thing. Yeah, it is actually, even though it's two days, it's really helpful, actually. Yeah. So okay. thank you both of you very much. Thank for you very time. much, Ms. Pankaj. Really yeah. mean thank a lot. You. Your parents, just yeah. before uh, before uh, Ms. Karishma addresses a few other things, I just also want you to tell as parents, uh, focus and look at the child's posture when they write. Most yeah. of the time our kids are, are because of the online classes, they are on the bed or in a comfort in an uncomfortable position on the couch. That is also the reason why the handwriting is is, you know, the errors are repeating. They are not able to improvise on the letter, the texting, the spacing, the sizing. So just make sure they are sitting in a comfortable position in a chair and a table with proper back posture. Usually they hunch and they write, they sleep and then they write. This is going to impede their progress in handwriting. So just be there alert around them. I know it is uh, the schools are opening, kids are going back to school. They are used to in a habit of leaning and writing thanks to a COVID-19 that we have gone back to, you know, in a, into the classes were in the bedrooms, but now the classes are happening offline. So just mention that. And I think this workshop is going to help them understand that writing in proper posture is important, right? Because it's going to, it's going to uh, make the whole impression better, you know, the way they write it. Yeah, children, so you're going to go. I'm sure some of the schools have already started. So it's not uh, your room anymore. It's not your living room couch anymore. It's your desk table, which you have to use properly. Okay, and write with proper concentration and with proper speed, right? So that, uh, that I think you're practicing very well in creative writing class, but just remember the feedback what you got today. Yeah, yeah, Ms. Karishma. Yeah, so I will just take five to seven minutes of the parents now. I'm going to uh, teach something very basic, which we really may be uh, knowing it, but we can't put it into practice. So uh, handwriting I, as it is, is, it's an exercise. Like any other sport, what you play, like football, cricket, whatever the child plays, there is always a 
warm up included in that right it begins with a warm up so we don't take handwriting as an exercise that is why we don't really take care of our muscles but if you go to see in handwriting our muscles like finger muscles wrist muscles shoulder muscles neck muscles everything is involved this all things together make up our handwriting look good or bad so taking care of the posture is very very important because eventually it will show in your handwriting i can really see your handwriting and say whether the child is sleepy or not because it will show in the handwriting i'm sure so what the first thing that we need to see is that the child is sitting on a hard surface not on the sofa not on the bed why i'll tell you bed sofa or couch are little spongy they create a spring effect which we don't really realize but you know you sit like this and it bounces so if you are writing and you are really not alert it will show that bounce in the handwriting which will not really appear you will not even be able to see but it eventually you will slouch you are sitting like this eventually you will lean back you will turn left then you will put your hand like this on the couch and then you'll start writing so this is going to happen so make a habit of sitting on a writing table or a study table or a dining table if at all and floor is also fine with a study table in front of you that is also fine so the back should be straight no support for the back don't take a pillow because eventually you are going to just backrest it and you are just going to write like this and you are going to slouch it so make yourself alert this will create a signal to your brain that i am going to do something very concrete and i need to concentrate understand the psychology so the parents need to concentrate this whenever they see the child is little sluggish try to make them sit straight after that comes how to take care of the muscles so before making them study or write just follow this one minute routine and i'm sure this is going to help so all the children are going to do with me and parents are going to observe now everybody spread your arms like this in front of you stretch your fingers come on pranaya do it come on very good pranaya we can't see you stretch it you can feel that stretch shake your fingers shake your fingers very good now fold your fingers one by one see you can feel the stretch already so if you are not alert or very sluggish or don't feel like studying do this this will really help you to concentrate and this will also increase your intensity of studying okay so this you can do 3 to 5 times depending upon how alert you want to be pranaya now do it with us pranaya come on do you feel really good on, now pranaya, fold the fingers roll your wrist clockwise five times come on pranaya you can already feel the stretch in the wrist as well very good pranaya good job then roll it anti clockwise very good children so this was for your wrist and for the fingers now comes the shoulder who supports your hand right so rotate your shoulder five time clockwise this will make your back straight and you will never need a pillow to sit at your back okay now five times anti clockwise rotate full shoulder don't do this don't do half rotate full shoulder so you you'll really feel energized you will feel as if you have drank a glass full of glucose okay now just flap your shoulder so, and we are unable to sorry sorry to interrupt yeah, i am unable to see like... any of the videos yeah. i think your internet is pretty weak there's an issue at yeah. my yeah i am having yes the internet is internet issues from your and mishweta because we can all hear and follow yeah you could you could you try and rejoin mishweta yeah okay just flap your fingers or oh, sorry shoulders More so do you notice when you are tired you just do like this you remember when you are tired you do this so do that with both the hands see can you feel your hand loose already just loosen up your hand leg like, yeah but now mom, comes the next we call sorry we call um you said that when we are energized you feel like you um you drank a full energy. glass full of glucose that's energizer which gives you energy 
glucose water orange color lime lime flavor you know that yeah so now comes the neck up down up down up down three times now left right very slow okay don't be in a hurry don't give jerks to your neck do this and after doing this now you are ready to learn something very interesting okay so this is that you have prepared your body and it will help you to concentrate more now comes the main part is the gripping part how will you hold your pencil or pen okay so everybody will show me on the screen like this how are you going to hold it everybody will place the pencil like this i will show how to hold it good now if you can see always pencil has two colors one second i'll show it here tanaya show like this not straight like this like this so we can see you properly yeah show the grip to ma'am how you are holding it not like this okay <laughs> like this go on okay can you see this now okay see uh, one second ha huh? i'll spotlight no problem yeah spotlight the okay. yeah yeah so this is the uh, pencil what you are holding okay always pencil has two two colors one is the wood color and other is the color of the pencil so the ideal way of holding the pencil is where the first color ends like this so this is the way you will hold the pencil okay you, you will hold with first two finger that is thumb and the index finger and the third finger is always for the support so some children you really hold it like this with all the fingers or like this or like this some some children hold like this also and they write like this no the ideal way of holding is like this okay you, do you want me you to will spot, not hold do you want me to spotlight down them just to check once how they yeah, how to do that yeah you can quickly do it right okay so uh, can i start yeah 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 so tanaya is here tanaya can you show ma'am how you're doing it quickly yeah okay hold it little down here where the first color ends that yes. is the ideal place of holding the pencil hold yes. it with first two fingers the third finger is for the support is it proper ma'am for tanaya yeah very very perfect perfect ditya can you show ma'am how you're doing it is she too ahead is she too ahead yeah 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 behind little behind beta ditya take little it little back correct hold it little behind ditya yeah just take it little back the darling you you're too ahead with the uh, i mean the, don't hold the pencil in the corner hold it here little behind ditya ditya just hold it properly ditya you're holding it too much in the front you're holding it little back yeah. you're holding it like this hold it like this yes please yeah okay okay josh can you show ma'am how you're doing it josh yeah little behind just little behind yes correct very good very good pranaya can you show ma'am how you're holding it pranaya little little ahead come ahead come ahead come ahead see where i am holding the pencil can you see pranaya come ma ahead yeah pranaya hold it uh, where ma'am is holding see the see the screen yeah see the screen come down you're holding it here come down like this yes very yes. good very Excellent. good very good okay vihan can we see yours come down vihan come down the pencil hold it from down little little down little down see my screen very good perfect perfect like this can we see shanaya's yeah good vihan very good shanaya perfect shanaya's hiba can you show yours to ma'am ma'am hiba's is fine perfect perfect and alicia finally that also looks fine alicia is perfect okay okay, okay ma'am yeah can't you you will always hold the pencil like this and write never hold it far never hold it too close if you hold it too close it will show more pressure on the paper and your your handwriting will become very dark 
and if you hold it behind, yes, beta. Um, if we hold it so close, um, will the will our nails touch the paper or not? Exactly, it will touch the paper, and also your handwriting will become very very shabby because you will only not able to see what you are writing. See, if I'm holding my pencil too close, and if I'm trying to write like this, I only can't see what I'm writing. Okay, so it is better to hold like this when the angle is such a way I I can see what I'm writing. Correct. So if you hold it too close, you will not be able to see, and also the pressure will be too too much pressure. And if you hold it far, the pressure will be too less. Can you see the difference yes. of light and dark? So always hold it in a proper position. Always sharpen the pencil. And in future, the students who we are using a pen, I will advise to use only gel pen, no ball pen. Parents, please note this. Whenever you start writing with a pen, always use a gel pen. It might be a little slow in the beginning, but it will not spoil the handwriting. Ball pen needs to, you know, it has a tendency of running. That is why it is called ball. It just runs, so it will definitely spoil the handwriting. Let them not use the ball pen when they are beginning to write. Later in the ninth or tenth standard, if they want for the speed up, that time they can use, but not in the initial years. That is my advice. So this like yeah, beta. Like that, the handwriting will be. No, wait. I'm not able to understand. Sorry, repeat. Teacher, when you're catching the pencil like that, the handwriting will come like that. Yeah, that is what I showed. If it is too close, it will be okay. Acha, you want him to see? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, and one more thing: when you are writing, suppose I'm writing like this, my one hand is always free. So try to hold the book or the paper you're writing so that it doesn't move. Okay, don't allow your other hand to do anything else rather than concentrating on what you're doing. Don't allow the hand to rest on the armrest or something like that. I'll, it it should always be on the book or the paper you're writing so that you know it always helps the grip of the book or the paper. It will not move. Correct. So these are the things what I wanted to teach regarding the basics. This will really help your handwriting go really good. And whatever you are doing, whatever, however you're writing, it will be good and presentable at least. And you will not get tired. Okay. So should I continue with the numbers now? Yes, yes, ma'am. I think we'll begin. Children, we need your notebook. Ma'am is going to teach you today how to write numbers in the right manner. Okay, parents, be around so you can kind of, if you have any doubt, you can quickly ask. It's just a matter of 10, 15 minutes more. Okay, Karishma, ma'am, you can continue. Yeah, so I will be showing in red and blue line and single line as well. So don't you, don't you all worry. I'll print and cursive both. I need everyone to just look here first, not to write anything till I ask you all. Okay, I'll give enough time for you to write. First, first everyone's going to see. And then, then when ma'am says to write, that time you'll write. Okay? Yeah. Okay, children, have your book ready with you. Check Let's your begin. Sharpened pencil. Check your posture. Check your body straight. You're not leaning back, slouching. Not allowed. Come on, sit straight and follow ma'am first. Don't support yourself with the hand. Take your hand off. Very good. Okay, now I'm showing in the red and blue line first. You have four lines. Your numbers will always be between the two lines of blue. Now, this is the cursive one first. It will not be like this, okay? This will be between the blue lines. So that it has always more? a... Ma'am, can you zoom a bit more down? Yeah. So that we can... Yeah. One second, I'll do that. Yeah. Come on, children, watch, watch ma'am do. And then you're going to... We are going to learn today how to write numbers in the right manner, Okay. So yeah, so yes, ma'am, this is much better. Yes, much better. Perfect. So this was number two. Now see number three. These are for cursive writers, okay? Three, four. Always touch the baseline. Just notice this. I have touched the baseline. Numbers or alphabets will always touch the baseline. I'm writing six here so that you can see in one glance. When you write eight, make sure both the curves are equal and not like this. Okay? Make sure it is like that. Now, when you write two numbers, 
both the numbers will be of equal size and nothing like this one is big and the zero is small no it should be of the same size okay this was for cursive now the print ones print ones are very simple but again the same rule between the blue lines excuse me teacher yeah the b first first goal of the b should be small and the other one should be big in what in alphabets yeah. alphabets yeah which first alphabet first b should be small and the b should be big and second one small or the first one should be small no i'm not actually understanding which alphabet right now i'm teaching numbers Yes, Shania. What is the doubt? Teacher, I'm just asking that B. When you're writing B, the first alphabet, uh, the first circle of the B be small. B. Which B? Teacher, we are not I... doing. Yeah, we are doing numbers, no, darling, Shania. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ma'am, continue. Yeah. So this was for the print writers. Now you can continue. writing and i will show that on the single line also once you finish this writing so those who are writing print will write this pattern and those who are writing cursive will write this pattern ma'am we have to write in our english uh, this one book yes 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 creative writing book yes please okay yes tell me tanaya Ma'am, um, I was telling that in the what we call in the uh, single line, we have to touch both line or I'll only. I'll show. I'll show. I'll show. Just give me two minutes. Let them finish. Those who are writing in red and blue line, I'll show again in single line also. Don't worry. Children, check your posture. Check the other hand should hold the book. Remember all all what Ma'am mentioned. Okay. Yeah. And then follow the instructions. Single line, children. Just. Ma'am, can we do more than one time the numbers? Yeah, you can do. Not a problem. Just finish one time at least first. Can I shift the page, children? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now the single line ones. Just check. I'll again show both the types of handwriting. Okay. Just look here. Now this is the available gap here. Again, your alphabet will be like numbers. Half the size, okay. So this is for the cursive ones. I'm showing first. Touch the base line, and it should be clearly visible. That big, not very chintu and very small. Again, when you make eight, it should be both the circles should be of equal size. when you write two numbers both should be of equal size not big nor small this was for cursive now comes the print children, same rule follows line, you okay? will yeah, pranaya pranaya don't touch the top line okay try don't and write in between line. just like alphabet nothing will touch yeah. the top line only the base line teacher you have to write it yes write down those who are writing in single line will follow the single line pattern the writing remains the same in both the types of line she it, it it should be this big and clear now whether you write the numbers in the given space here or in the margin it will remain the same nothing will change even if i write my number in the margin it will remain the same nothing will change touching the base line is compulsory yes children men see please see this most of the time you write very tiny then especially the numbers you can demand they can put a dot when they use the margin right from 1 2 3 yeah they can put but then don't put the dot like this i have seen many children doing this yeah don't be shabby just put one dot if you want to and that's also if it is compulsory to put yes. i don't think it is required yes yes good job children
good job you can repeat if you have already written once okay you can write it once more good this is again if somebody wants to put a glance at the red and blue line ma'am uh, i um, finished writing i'll write once again yeah yeah do that do that till the others finish you can continue writing kiba you want to ask anything you can ask okay after how much do we have to write just write once or twice till everybody finishes you have time then we can go for the later things means how much 1 2 3 4 5 till 10 only till 10 till 10 ma'am i finished very writing. good ma'am can we see if possible kiba can you show us till then if you have finished let ma'am see it take a glance at it i don't know if how visible or clear it would be yeah 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 it very nice very nice. Nice. good good kiba well done heba anyone else who everybody Can you show the blue line one? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. I'll do that. Alicia. The blue line one. Can you show the? I will. I will show you. Is that clear? Alicia, show me again. You are very nice. Perfect. Beautiful. Nice. Who else is done? Vihan, are you also done? In a spotlight. Which I'm done. Okay, Shania is done. Okay, Shania. Okay, I'm done. Okay, Josh. Good. Ma'am, just see Shania's also if she's okay. Oh wow, very nice, perfect. I like the you you use the ruler for drawing the line. Very nice. Very nice, Shania. Excellent job. Okay, Josh, can we see yours? Okay. Then I show, ma'am. Then I am done. Yes, Pranaya, you will be next. Yes, Josh, show yours. Wow, very nice, Josh. Very oh. nice. <laughs> Ma'am, his two is little different, right? A yeah, little bit. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. A little small. Observe the two again. Yes. Can you show your two again, Josh? It's little different from the other, and he. I think he's getting little stuck up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like. Okay. So uh, just observe the two. Josh. Josh. See, ma'am. See how ma'am is doing it. Follow map. So, what you have done is you have elongated this line like this. Okay, don't do that. Just do this much. That's it. If you can't do, just write like this. It's yes. fine. Yeah, Flat, it's, flatten it. Yes. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm also done. Sure, ma'am. Can we check Pranaya's now? Yeah. Sure, sure. And I'm also done. Sure, sure. Yes, Pranaya is here, ma'am. Very good, Pranaya. Very nice. Nice job, Pranaya. Good. You're not touching the top line. Very good. Yes, Vihan. Show yours also to ma'am. Okay. Yes. Uh, very nice. Very nice. I'm very happy. Good. Vihan, just yeah. rub right again. Just rub the nine and right again, and one and zero ten. It makes one number, so it should be close to each other. Correct. Can you see this? It should be close to each other. Not far. Just rub yeah. that and write again, so you will not forget them. Yeah, you put a lot of space between one and zero. Just make them closer. Write it together. It's one number, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Anyone else is left and wants to show, ma'am? Tanaya, we'll show yours. Wonderful. Okay. Ma'am, Tanaya, this one. Uh, okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Just don't touch the upper line like you've done right now. Very nice. You can just increase the size of six. Can you do this, Tanaya? Your six is like this. Okay. Can you make it little broad like this? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Anyone Other... else wants to show? Any? Everyone has shown, right? To ma'am. Only Ditya is left. Ditya, can you show yours to ma'am? Ditya is not in the meeting room. I... Oh yeah, Ditya. Sorry, sir. Yeah, Ditya, show ma'am also. Ma'am, no, I'm writing. Come on, quickly! You have written once, no? No problem. Show that. Okay. And Ditya, you need to improve your speed also, darling. Okay? Yeah. Wow, oh, very nice. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Good, Ditya. Well done. So, ma'am, shall we proceed with the felicitation and then we can? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can then move on with the. Well, I think ma'am has planned something for you, children. Is it perfect? Sorry. Is it perfect now? Yeah, it's very, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah. 
nice it's nice all right children so and parents thank you very very much uh, i think you were all there around i know uh, listening and uh, motivating children and we are we are still there even after the workshop i'm just a, a, a message away whenever you have to ask something clarify something i'll reach out to miss karishma and she will be there to assist us i think miss karishma yeah, yeah definitely committing on that <laughs> yeah Anita. and uh, yeah as as uh, miss pankaja has in, informed we will be needing the capitals for the different uh, the, the bank of word how to write it and also that will be helpful for us uh, children miss karishma has also would also like to share the certificate which she has prepared from her own um, you know i she, she, you know she's a very personalized certificate which she has created for you so this goes to our lovely ditya darling ditya this is for you i'm going to be emailing it to you all as well okay next comes can you guess who it is no 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 okay our little master jash mukunda jash this is for you would you like to say thank you to ma'am ditya and jash thank you ma'am so much thank you children thank you thank you jash okay now can you guess who's going, who is it going to be kanaya kanaya oh wow who is wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that so this certificate is for kanaya kunikal kanaya can you say thank you ma'am thank you miss thank you next is going to be thank another you. wonderful thank child you. and i think it is going to be shanaya yeah shanaya tripathi this is for you dear thank you bachcha thank you next certificate goes to can you guess hiba 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 the certificate is for you hiba would you like to say thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you thank you bachcha next we have who is this wonderful child starting with a Alicia, yeah, our Ellie, darling, Alicia. This is for you, darling. Say thank you, Alicia. We can't hear you. You are you are muted. Ma'am, can you show it full so I can take a screenshot? Oh, don't worry. I'll email mind. it to you. You are really responsible. <laughs> you are really playing <laughs> the role of your mommy very well. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't worry, Alicia. I'll email it to your mom. Then we have Vihan, oh, our wonderful. Okay. Vihan is for you. This is for you. Thank you, ma'am. And Jash is very happy. Vihan is getting a certificate, right? Jash. <laughs> <laughs> And we finally have Pranaya, a wonderful Pranaya. Pranaya, this is for you. Thank you, ma'am. Can you share this on WhatsApp? Yes. Yeah. Can give everyone certificate? Yes, ma'am has given everyone a certificate. Okay. Can you share everyone certificate on WhatsApp? I want to do the handwriting. I will definitely do it. <laughs> okay, I'll definitely. And just to announce today, uh, we are going to have handwriting competition in our club for you all. You remember I had told you this. So next Thursday we are going to have a handwriting competition, and I'm going to pick not me. Ma'am is going to pick the top. three best handwriting samples so you have one week to practice from today every day remember what ma'am said practice 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 and next thursday we are going to hold a club and handwriting competition next thursday on thursday right yes huh? next thursday will be our handwriting competition okay Just now no, no, no. i have to complete my cursive book so i can practice when i'm doing my cursive book yes yes for sure for sure and no, even when you're writing things in school remember no, that remember the feedback what ma'am gave you Okay, now without wasting a single second, I'm going to give it to give the stage to Karishma, ma'am, because she has planned something for us, right, Karishma, ma'am? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even I don't know what she has planned. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I have just planned. You know, we will just have a ending session with a small game. Okay, so what are we going to do? Is it's going to be like a treasure hunt. So this idea was floated to me by Ma'am itself, and I'm just going to execute that. Okay, so be ready. You're going to run around in your houses and search the things what I'm going to tell you. Okay, is it fine? Can we dash into any table? Okay. Yeah. But ma'am, before when people. we were ma'am, before when we were playing treasure hunt, I was smashed. I smashed into my mom while getting the. Uh, <laughs> no, be careful. Brush. That is not safe. Maybe we have searched something very very quickly. Okay. Educate. But ma'am, if we if we don't have that thing, what shall we do then? Not a problem. Not a problem. Just try searching it. That's also an effort you are putting now, so that's fine. Okay. I'm the scorekeeper. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
So the first whoever gets it first gets a point, right? Whoever yeah. Gets whoever gets it first will get a point. Okay. So the yeah, first right. thing what I want to search is a red color crayon. Red color crayon. First. Let's see who comes first. Ma'am, you are the Vihan. judge, so you tell me who is first according to you. Okay, I can see Vihan getting it and Shania. Okay, so Vihan, one point. Shania, no, one point. Yeah. No, no, no. Ma'am will decide that, Ditya. Yeah, ma'am, let ma'am decide it. So Vihan so, and Shania. Vihan, it was Vihan, Shania, Pranaya, and Ditya. Okay, Ditya, Vihan, Shania, and Pranaya. Okay. Great. Okay. Now I want you. Everybody is not Pranaya. It's Pranaya. Pranaya. Okay. 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 The next thing what I want you to get is a storybook. Wow. Let's see who reads stories. Come on. I want to see who is fond of reading. Okay. Okay. Is that the one? Ivan, <laughs> Shania, Alicia also, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Alicia was first. Yeah. Alicia, Vihan, Shania, and uh, Ditya. Ditya. Okay. okay. Wow, very nice. I'm very yeah, happy. I got it. I got it. Yes, Pranaya. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now the third thing. Okay, now the next thing what I want to go and get is is your water bottle. Oh. <laughs> I want to see who is. Oh, Shania is already having it. Shania, Josh, Vihan, and Hiba. Yeah. Very nice. You all are very, very, very super fast, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let's do something really creative. I want you to pick up a handkerchief and tie in your neck like a mawali types. You know they do. I want to see who is faster in that. Just pick up a handkerchief, a handkerchief and, and tie it around your neck. I don't have a handkerchief. I don't have one. Take a dupatta. Take anything, but tie it around your neck. Yes. My phone. No. Where is the handkerchief? Take a take a scarf. Yes, we can see see Pranaya do. Wow, Pranaya. Wow, this is so creative. Alicia, oh, around yeah. your neck, around your neck, not on the chest. Oh, around your neck. your neck. I can see, I can see Pranaya do it very well. Wow, awesome job! Nice. Don't I get a point? Yes, you get a point. Yay. Yes, very nice. Oh, Vihan, Vihan is super creative. He got a nice stole. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. I'm so excited. Yeah, you are so antu. Okay. Everybody. Okay. I get something to my cupboard. I'll show you. Um, see, I did this. Nice. Fantastic. So nice. Nice job. Okay. So I, uh, children, with this we bring this session to an end. I'm really, really grateful to Karishma, ma'am, for coming here, interacting with you all, and teaching you so many fabulous things about handwriting. So don't you think she deserves a round of applause? Can we unmute and clap for? Can we unmute and clap for Karishma, ma'am? Karishma, ma'am, are you there? Yes, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Thank you very much. We really want to thank heartfelt gratitude to you from all parents, children. Okay, and myself. Uh, we we really look forward to seeing you once again. Do you want Karishma ma'am to come again? Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. We would like to see you again, Karishma ma'am. Thank you very much on behalf of our club, and uh, we'll see you soon, children. I'm going to see you on Monday soon. Okay. Who won the game? Yes. Who won the game? Good question. So I have got three children winning this game. Okay. One is Vihan. Vihan. Second. Maximum points are Shania, Shania, second point, second uh, position, and third position is drum rolls. It's going, it's gone to Pranaya. Wow, fantastic! Excuse me, ma'am, who got how many points? Everyone got three, 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 and Pranaya got two. <laughs> Okay. okay. Right. So, children, I'm going to see you all on Monday. Bye. Have a fun bye. time at home. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, Bye, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, parents. Ma'am, my sister is uh, sitting.